I'm going to give an overview now of how to do the assembly on a 120 centimeter mesh satellite dish from Slab. Given the size of the dish, and uh, the actual assembly part of it is extremely simple, okay? So I'll just give a quick overview here. I'm just going to jump straight in. So what we're going to start off with is the elevation bracket here. I'm going to slot through this large U-hook. Slot it here. And the idea of these U-bolts is they're going to go onto these anchor bo or anchoring bolts that are behind. Uh, gripping bolts and what it'll mean is that we can come along and uh, we can actually pick up and bolt onto we'll say a large mounting bracket so the typical type of bracket you'd be using with this would maybe would be a two inch galvanized heavy duty bracket and the standoff of it you know it all depends on the type of angle you're going to need the dish on it but the standoff would ideally be we'll say at least uh, 55 centimeters to get us out that distance from the wall that we need to have full 180 degree rotation on the dish so um, it's roughly 120 divided by two, but um, it's really how you're calculating it. Um, so we have all this assembled here now. So we have the first part, pretty well assembled there now. So you can imagine, we have our large pole here, we have this mounted on, and if we bolted it in, we can see there's little perforated grips here, and just bolt it on tightly, okay? So what we'll come along here and do next is I'm just gonna hold up this dish bracket, which is here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this directly onto the dish bracket. So this is actually takes a little bit of force to push it on. And what we have here is we have two central holes we're trying to line up on here. And what we have is we have a little bit of brackets here. So it clips in neatly like this. Okay. So what we're going to do now is now a good part of the design is the fact that because there's a bit of pressure on it in terms of the way the design is, and we have the two holes here. When we release it, it holds in the position there, and it just makes the next step of the assembly that much easier. I'm just going to grab two large bolts here, and I'm going to drop it down through the barrels, so the cylindrical barrels here, so it's not like it's going directly from one side to the other on guide. It's going through a barrel here, and the big advantage of this is it means that when we actually come along and we go to tighten up these nuts, it's not able to depress or change the shape of the actual angle. have that part of the assembly is fully completed now. So the next part is, so this all obviously bolts onto the back of the dish and how it's going to be bolted on is there's six holes here and they exactly line up with six holes that are on the dish and also we have this arm here which will bolt onto the thing, mount it forward and it will be used for holding the LNB which is picking up the signal running it into your satellite box. So it's going to be a certain dish, a distance away from the dish. So what I'll do next is I'm simply going to come along. We have this arm here. It's made of aluminium. You see there's a slot on the bottom here. You could use that for running cables in. The LMB would actually be held here. But at this point in the assembly, we don't want to put on the, um, the, the LMB bracket. What we want to do is simply want to come along and we want to push in these two slots here. And there's a groove in the bottom of the dish. I'll just show it. So we can push this in here. And what happens is when it goes in, because of the angle of the plastic, it actually pops directly out. And when it comes to the two holes in the center here, it just pop right out. So, just demonstrate this here if I can, and we can actually see it's come out there already. So it's locked it tightly into position there. And what I do then is I use this screw and nut here, and I put the bolt through here. It'll pop out the far side, and I use the screw then, and I lock it into position. And the key point to that is if angle come, or any pressure comes in this, it stops this simply popping up. It'll be locked into position. So once again, it's holding the rigidity of the shape. So just to lift up the satellite dish for a moment, I'm not going to try to bolt this on, on camera into position. But to show you what I would do is, I would, it's probably need a second person for this in truth. We have the holes here, which I mentioned earlier. There's one here, and there's another two further along, and another set of three holes along here. And we have the gap here where we'd fit in the arm for holding the LMB. So we just slot it in and I'd use the bolts which we see in front here. I'm just going to show you them now. This bolt, we want the nut to be going on the back. So the flat part of the bolt would simply push through the front of the dish. And it would be, there's a square locking mechanism here which would hold it in position. And it lines up with the square holes, if that's in the contradiction term on the satellite dish and it just pops straight through here if you can see it and what 
what we'd use then is we'd use a nut here to lock it into position and we clearly repeat that process six times okay for each of the angles around the dish so it's pretty straightforward so we, we will have mounted this directly through and at this point we can come along and actually put on the LMD so think about what we want to achieve here well we'll just pull apart this plastic holder here now what I'm going to say about the design of the LMD holder here is it's exactly the same design that's used by Triax, Amico, Inverto, etc. So it means that if you have um, a sort of LMB holders from these, they'll work perfectly on this. And the design shape of an LMB itself is always 40 millimeter neck size. So that actually works out quite well. So I've just disassembled and reassembled this with the LMB in position. And what I'll do now is I'll take this bolt that comes, I'll push it straight through this hole. There's a nut on the far side, which you can see here. And once again, I'm just going to use the screwdriver here. I just screw it to lock it into position. It tightens up. It's, it's very easy to do because the, the, the nut on the far side can't rotate. And I just angle it at the angle that I wanted. And what we do then is we come on and we simply snap this into position. So once again, I push this in. And I just depress either side here and just wriggle it in and it'll pop back out of the plastic holders there. Not going to insert it fully here because I think you could probably get the idea and it's tricky to get it back out, okay? It normally used to just put a piece of pressure and then wriggle it back out again. But the great thing about it when it goes in, it's very secure. Now one thing I'm going to mention briefly is that because of the design of the dish here as well, instead of mounting a single LMB, you could use something like this, a multiple LMB holder which would slot directly into this dish here. And you can imagine that we'd have holders here along it for maybe one, two, three, or up to four LMBs could be held at certain angles. So we could put, pick it up multiple satellites on such a large dish as this, and feeding it into a Dysic switch and back down to a single satellite box. So that's it anyway, the assembly of a 120 centimeter mesh satellite dish.